and throughout her life and reign, the Queen held a unique position on the world stage mm. as the head of state for 15 Commonwealth nations. It has dwindled over the years, but it's still at 15. But beyond the Commonwealth, the Queen has wielded soft power through her enduring international popularity and as a key tool of British diplomacy. Steer went ashore, accompanied by the governor of Fiji. She reinvented monarchy and took it to the world, from young queen to global megastar. She was incredibly popular. I mean, she was like this multimedia star. Her lifetime of travels would circle the planet 40 times over. As the world changed beyond recognition, Queen Elizabeth remained constant, confidant and confessor to presidents and prime ministers. What's quite extraordinary is the love and affection they had for her. And champion of a Commonwealth of Nations and its two and a half billion people. The ability to come to your level and tell you that you are doing a good work meant almost everything to me. As Queen of Canada for nearly six decades, my pride in this country remains undimmed. We've become used to seeing the Queen on the world stage, but it was a role she envisaged even before being crowned. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. It was a promise she would honour from the very beginning, barely six months after her coronation, embarking on a tour of the Commonwealth. The royal couple drew enormous crowds. Welcome was the word formed by some of the 17,000 children on Melbourne cricket ground. There was no doubt they meant it. It was clear that this was going to be a very different kind of monarch. The Queen, when she came to the throne, she was very young, but she had very clear ideas of how she wanted to shape her role and definitively travel and international collaboration and building an international community, and particularly the Commonwealth, was so important to her. The Queen and Prince Philip toured the Commonwealth for six months, taking in its vast size and diversity. By the end, the young Queen was already becoming a global icon. It was Lower Broadway that supplied the ticket tape snowstorm. The status cemented a few years later, when she took New York by storm. Americans came out in their thousands. Inside the Great Assembly Hall, 2,500 delegates and their wives rose to greet the Queen. When the Queen went on her visits in the early days, no one had any idea she'd be so popular. They had no idea there'd be thousands of people. The advisers were really quite surprised by the level of popularity, the level of fascination, the level of the fact that everyone seemed to be out there on the streets who wants to see a glimpse of the Queen. And she was incredibly popular. I mean, she was like this multimedia star. She was like the ultimate celebrity, bigger than a Hollywood celebrity. On the maintenance of understanding between us, the future of the free world depends. She was already mastering the arts of soft power. Her personal chemistry with leader after leader would prove one of her most effective assets. Saw her with leaders like President Yeltsin and sort of, le again, the level of conversation and confidence and ability to, to observe your discretions and, and secrets was very high and I think, you know, got on well because he respected the Queen of having some enduring qualities that are not related to politics or the stage which you're at politically. Very few could claim to be on an equal footing with the Queen. Nelson Mandela was one. I mean, she could speak very frankly with him because he was a prince in his own tribe, so in that sense, he had an easy way uh, with the Queen. He's the only head of state I've ever heard call the Queen Elizabeth. At home, the Queen hosted world leaders, some of them less savoury than others, but treated them all with the same decorum and royal welcome. Her role was far from just ceremonial. She had a diplomatic importance with a global reach and depth politicians could only dream of. We in Britain have often underestimated the immense impact that the Queen had on the whole of the world. Uh, with America, she had met 14 US presidents. Nobody in the world, not even in America, has met 14 presidents. And then taken a place like Ireland. She was pivotal in bringing about that rapprochement 
uh, between Britain and Ireland in 2011. So a hugely understated but very significant influence globally. The monarchy continues. The monarchy will always continue. That's what it's designed to do. But will anybody coming in now uh, have that same uh, clout, that same uh, footprint on world history? Obviously not. The Queen and Duke of Edinburgh. Driving the Queen's ambition above all was a passion for the Commonwealth, to see something good rise out of the end of empire. Its Secretary General says the Queen played a unique role for all of its leaders. You could tell her anything and she'd never talk about it. And she had the wisdom and the generosity to listen and then to give really sage, quiet advice. And so I think if you had the privilege, as a number of us have, of seeing her interact with them, what's quite extraordinary is the love and affection they had for her. I commend the Queen's Young Leaders of 2018. But the Queen's love for people extended far beyond leaders and politicians. She had a passion for the youth of the Commonwealth. Like Derek Omari, who set up a charity for disabled children in Ghana, aged 19. Singled out by Her Majesty for the Queen's Youth Leader Awards. It was, it was a day that nobody ever thought about. I, knowing where I grew up, never ever thought of in my life that I even leave Ghana to the UK and then come all the way to the Buckingham Palace and be on it. And, and one of the things that really left, that, that, that has gotten stuck with me, was the chance to meet her in person, have a conversation with her, her humanness and her ability to come to your level and tell you that you are doing a good work. Keep doing it, keep going on, and we are proud of you. It meant almost everything to me. For Rihanna Patterson, recognised for setting up a dementia charity, the Queen was a personal inspiration. She was a young person taking on this leadership role and she had to kind of find herself in it quite quickly. You know, there was a lot of formalities, a lot of rules, a lot to take in, and it was something that was quite sudden. Um, so I think she is relatable in that regard, like taking on a stance at a young age. <laughs> The woman who took on so much in her 20s would go on inspiring so many other young people like her for decades and carry on travelling for as long as her health would let her. The Queen transformed the monarchy, turning it into a globe-trotting multimedia phenomenon, years ahead of her time, letting Britain punch above its weight in the world and leading a commonwealth of nations. Her death leaves a void as she is mourned by hundreds of millions far beyond these shores. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News.